speed. All right, shifting gears once again, uh, I want to talk about the proposed 40 kilometer an hour speed limits in residential areas. I echo uh -oh. your sentiments, but Jay, what do you think? Is this something that Calgary needs to look at adopting? 100%. Really? Why yeah, so? I, uh, I mean, I live in a off, like, like an area with just kind of like a it's you a live short in a block. Narrow street. Narrow yeah, street. Area. Narrow yeah, street yeah, yeah. with vehicles and everything like yeah, that. I mean, yeah. there's parents who have gone as far to create barricades to notify drivers that there are kids okay, there. So in your neighborhood, you welcome it. Mm -hmm. In your neighborhood. Do you welcome the idea? No, because the reality is the number of drivers who are driving too fast for the uh, conditions in neighborhoods like mine, I live in yeah. Altador, yeah. it's very few. And so as much as I get, I certainly get this. I have had young children. They're not young anymore. But, you know, you are concerned about your child, some loser coming down the street. I don't think it's the answer because the vast majority of people literally cannot even do the speed limit. There, there are cars. It's too narrow. There are yeah, corners. Okay. There are stop signs. It's much signs. like Mackenzie Town. It yeah, like. it's, not, it's not a fact that people yeah. generally are driving way too fast in residential districts. Okay, Adam, studies show... Studies will show, though, that if you, you know, you're doing 50 kilometers an hour, it's a 90% fatality rate. You drop it to 40, and I think it reduces to like a 60 to 50% fatality uh -huh. rate. Now, studies also show, apparently, that of pedestrian collisions, pedestrians are only really responsible, they say, 30% of the time. Uh, I don't know. Do you buy that, first and foremost? Uh, kind of. I can kind of buy that. Who hasn't been, oh, my God, I'm only going 40. I'm going to adjust the radio, as an example. Okay. Right? You're doing 110 on Deerfoot. Around the Caffro Bridge, the chances of you touching that radio, right around five percent to you're zero. Not, right? You're not looking for a pedestrian. You hey, know, well, either. that's what I'm saying. It's yeah. just a matter of distraction, right? Not too many people text at 110, but I've said this so many times on the shows that you can't stop stupid. Mm. Yeah, you exactly. Just, that guy that's going to go through 60 through mm -hmm. residential zone, mm -hmm. one deserves a ticket. Right. Two, he's not going to stop just because it's 40 now. He's still going to go 60. So this isn't, isn't most that... roads are built to handle the speed of what they're designed to do. That's yep. why in BC they upped the speed limit on the highways, yes. right? Which is welcome. I'd love to see exactly. a bit of that here. Also, even if you do it to 40 kilometers an hour, how many cops are going? Are they going to redistribute? Well, this is the thing, though. Isn't it all about tickets? enforcement, though? Doesn't it have to be about enforcement? Alberta already yeah. has the highest failure to yield to a pedestrian ticket at five hundred seventy-five dollars and four demerits. Four demerits. Okay, it's insane. I don't know yeah. anybody who's been and issued everybody that. Everybody else, though. What is the we key need difference? Money. No, we're very you know car centric. I mean, you, know you can't argue that Calgary is a very car centric city. In Alberta, city. the pedestrian has the right of way. In other provinces, you do not, and that to me is insane. Mm. I had a guy walk out in the middle of the street in front of my car. I was four feet away from the guy, and he came to my window and screaming and yelling at me. I have the right of way. I'm a in pedestrian. In the middle of the residential street, middle of the right? yeah. yeah, all the time. This is insane to me. You, you. A person has to be responsible for their own safety. They have to. 3,000 pound mass hurling yeah. down the road towards exactly. me. It's going to win every time. Right. Guys, that's, so that's actually all the time we've got. Nah. <laughs> Thanks very much. We'll see, you, uh, well, we'll see you next week on the Rant Pack as per usual. Folks, that's it for now. You can catch us next week. As always, don't be a stranger. We're on Twitter. You can get at us on Facebook. Till then, take care.